Today is June 2nd, 2019. Today's video is going to be on uh, ordering uh, silk moth eggs through the mail. And the name you see there and the email account you see there is the gentleman that I've been buying my eggs from lately. I also bought Luna moth cocoons from them last fall. They're still wriggling around in there yet. They aren't quite ready to hatch. Anyhow, I ordered eggs from him. I ordered Cecropia and Promethea eggs. Uh, what I do to start them out is, the eggs come and they're usually a whitish color. These are Cecropia eggs. They were white. They've now turned sort of a grayish color, so it's time to move them into the jars and to get them ready to hatch. Now, uh, if you look, Brian wrote on there Cecropia, so I knew which eggs they were. One thing, though, is Promethea eggs are a lot smaller, so it's easier to tell the difference that way, too. Anyhow, I went and cut back the excess uh, brown paper bag away from the eggs so they don't crawl around on paper. And then I bend the corners up and I use the tweezers to pick the eggs up. I've got an apple leaf in the jar for the Cecropias. So we gently set the eggs down in there on the leaf. We got two more here. Take those, set them down on the leaf. These guys are all ready to hatch and they'll crawl onto the food plant and begin to feed. Now, before I close them up, I've got a spray bottle here that I use for my orchids. There's the cover. I give it a shot of water. Too much. Shake off the excess. You only want a tiny little bit in there and then place the cover on loosely and it's good to go. The other one I've got here is Prometheus and these are little caterpillars that have hatched and they're feeding on purple lilac right now. I'm gonna go and remove the leaf and if you look there's little caterpillars all over there. The other leaf, still two little guys feeding on there, so we'll take that along too. In the bottom are the eggs, all hatched. Dump them out. This is purple lilac they're being fed. One thing you want to do is always check those leaves for any types of predators, parasites, little baby spiders, all kinds of stuff that'll feed on those caterpillars once they hatch. So I wipe the leaves, make sure there's nothing alive on them. Put the new set of leaves into the jar. And then gently put the leaves with the caterpillars in there. They'll smell the new leaves and they'll crawl onto them when they feel they've had enough of the leaves that are beginning to go bad. So they're all set. They'll do their thing. Same thing, I'll go and I'll put a little bit of uh, water in the cover again, shake the excess off, and then place that on loosely. And they're all good to go for a few more days yet. Remember, you can get a hold of Brian, Brian Yenish. It's at sisurfstar at gmail.com. Uh, he's got all kinds of eggs available, and in the fall, he's got all kinds of cocoons available. So if you're interested, contact him. He'll take care of you. Have a good one. We'll see you next video.